DeepSeek V3.2 and DeepSeek V version 3.2 Special. Reasoning first models built for agents. Two models. First says version 3.2, which is the official successor to version 3.2 Experimental. That one has been out for a couple of weeks, maybe even a month. Looks like it was updated 14 days ago, Experimental, and people liked it a lot. This is now the the official release. So it's come out of Experimental, it's come out of Beta, basically, and we now have the full release. It is now live in the app, web, and API. This is now their main model. They also have something called Special, pushing reasoning capabilities API only for now. These are DeepSeek models, so they are also open source. So we can actually come over to Hugging Face or Help a DeepSeek AI slash DeepSeek version 3.2 is here. It is 685 billion parameters, not as large as some models like ChatGPT 5.1, Gemini 3, etc. We believe it's in the trillions, so this is still in the billions. This is open source, so we can come to this website and use it. We can clone the repository into our own GitHub, access this model and fine tune it and connect it to our own systems, and run it locally if you have a beefy enough computer, which is very different to the closed source models the Americans deploy. China is leading the way in open source models. Version 3.2 is under the MIT license, which kind of allows you to do an awful lot with it. With it. So we can pull up the license and you can, oh, that's strange, it 404'd, so they've forgotten to put their license in place. Whoops. But it's apparently under the MIT license. Somebody needs to tell them that they should put that up because that's a bit of an issue. It's very good. As good as state-of-the-art models like Gemini 3. It is not as good as ChatGPT 5.1, but it is open source and relatively lightweight with 685 billion parameters. The fact that they're able to continue to push out models with less GPUs is impressive. There's a tech report, but we're just going to look at the chart. There is a 20 page paper about the release as well, which I'll put in the newsletter tomorrow if you want to get into detail. Overall, it's pretty great. Here we go. We've got Special, their top model and 3.2 thinking, putting their 3. Point model into thinking mode, which you can see compared to Gemini 3 Pro, GPT-5 High and Claude Sonnet, Claude 4.5 Sonnet, not Opus because presumably they were doing these benchmarks before Opus released, which was only a week ago. So that is fine. And we can see it is competitive. So in software engineering bench, it is slightly below everything else. In terminal bench, it is the second highest. It looks like the top is Gemini, apparently. So I would say it is not generally beating other models, but it is competitive. So it is not going to be the best model. That's still going to be Claude 4.5 Opus probably Gemini 3 Pro and Codex 5.1 Max over in ChatGPT if you're doing software engineering, but it's very good open source. You can download it, you can run it on your local computer, you can install it onto a server, you can fine tune it. This is the big problem for companies like OpenAI, and I'm going to talk about OpenAI's Code Red in just a moment, but what is happening now is the Chinese are releasing models are very good, very good, they're also incredibly cheap. Let's have a look. This is the API prices. So if you are using it in the app version, these are not really relevant to you. If you are building software, though, this is incredibly relevant. So 3.2, this is input that must be cached, the second one, and output. Yes, okay, so input, cached, and output. So you pay different amounts depending on usage. Input is me sending messages to DeepSeek. Output is DeepSeek sending me messages back, basically. And cached is if you set up a piece of software and you have prompts that are very similar or information that's very similar going back and forward a lot, you can cache some responses to decrease costs. We'll focus on input and output. Input for DeepSeek is 28 cents, American cents, compared to 5.1 OpenAI is $1.25 and Gemini 3 Pro is $2. So it's almost 10 times cheaper than Gemini and it is five or six times cheaper than ChatGPT. And then on the output, it is 42 cents for a million tokens compared to $10 for GPT 5.1 and $12 for Gemini 3 Pro. So it's not just cheaper. We're talking 20 times cheaper on output tokens, eight or nine times cheaper on input. It is much cheaper. And again, it is competitive. It's not better but it's just as good, almost, and 10 times, 20 times cheaper. If you are building software, 
if you are using the API, you don't necessarily need the best model all the time. I know that we as people want a really good model. If you're building a piece of software that maybe somebody puts in their details and it gives them a workout plan, for example, you don't need the most state-of-the-art deep thinking model. You need speed and you need it to be cheap so that you can serve thousands, tens of thousands of customers at the same time. So if you are building, this is incredibly attractive because you can get access to the model itself. It's open, seat, open source. You can fine tune it on your data. You can connect it to RAG, your own database, basically. Or you can run it using their API and it will be extremely cheap compared to ChatGPT, compared to Gemini and uh, Anthropic. Definitely compared to Anthropic. This is a threat and we're starting to see this in action 